the 2012 National Conference for the Collegiate Entrepreneurs Organization took place on November 1st through 3rd at the Chicago Hyatt Regency McCormick Place. Thousands of students from CEO chapters across the nation attended this conference. This video will briefly follow students from the Quincy University CEO chapter, giving you an idea of what attending a CEO conference is like from a student's perspective. First, we met up with Zach Klein and Morgan Ebner, both officers of Quincy University's CEO chapter. Uh, I'm Zach Klein. I am a 2012 president of the CEO chapter at Quincy University. I'm here with three other students from our chapter, and we're here for a conference and see all the keynote speakers and learn what we can and hopefully apply this back to our university and our chapter. Hi, I'm Morgan Ebner. I'm the vice president of 2012, I guess we're still in 2012, of CEO chapter at Quincy University. Um, so far we've seen one speaker and we learned how to structure our chapter and how to fundraise more and we heard from students from other chapters so it was actually really interesting. And so I guess what are you planning to learn from this particular session? Uh, this one is a uh, startup generation. So I was going to learn about startup companies and um, how to get your company off the ground and learn from mistakes and um, also uh, successes so you know how to be prepared. Um, I actually have a elevator pitch meeting tonight at 5 to learn more about how to make my pitch better for tomorrow when I compete in the first round. Later that day, our entire group met to gather our thoughts. That includes advisors Dr. John Palmer and Dr. Cynthia Halliman. Also, students Rob Kane, Michael Wasserman, and myself, Matthew Winfield. For now, Morgan's elevator pitch is a major focus. What we want to do tonight is throw some questions at her, some questions that judges might ask, just about the business in general. You know, things that aren't included as part of the pitch. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really what we're going to do. You know, and everybody just kind of brainstorm on that. And brainstorm is exactly what we did. Rob, Morgan, and I went upstairs to the room to talk more about the day and prepare for the next. No, it's just, I'm supposed to say, like, in the first year, I project to make $30,000, second year, 60 or something. Gotcha. Are you including that in the... Not in the pitch, but... But in for the, later. Yeah, gotcha. if they ask me the questions. On our way back downstairs to the lobby, Rob and I discussed plans for day two. So tomorrow, um, I know I'm going to go see Keurig, which is the um, keynote. Mm -hmm. And then, so that'll be really interesting, and a lot of people will go to that. Um, there's also one that I think that I'm going to go to personally, that is the CEO of Redbox, which I think is going to be pretty neat. I'm a huge movie buff, so that appealed to mm -hmm. me. Um, and there was also one about just like um, being able to teach innovation, and I thought that was interesting because there's a lot of folks that says that you can't teach it, like creativity either comes naturally or you can't do it. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I'm interested in, and I'm super stoked to support Morgan as well. It'll be nice to go to the business plan competition and um, see what other people have to offer. Besides attending a few art-related breakout sessions hosted by SEA, I spent much of day two sitting in on elevator pitches with most of our chapter. Next up is Morgan Ebner, Quincy University, pocket cover. A product, small enough to fit in a man's pocket or a woman's clutch, the pocket coat. This is a small reusable product with a huge impact as an inexpensive alternative to coat check, losing your nice coat, or just being cold. This product will be marketed through web and personal communication. It is made out of a light polyethylene material, so it will reflect back your body heat and protect you in the rain. We'll sell it for $9.99. It's designed to look like faux leather and is affordable on all budgets. The first year projection, profit projections... Are After Morgan gave her elevator pitch in round one, we caught up with Michael and Zach at dinner. And basically people are just reflecting on things that have happened today and which, um, which presentations they like the best. We had several breakout sessions and keynote speakers today. What sessions did you enjoy today? I enjoyed two sessions particularly. Uh, first of all, was Frank Plitz. It was like seven, his name's, uh, his company is Viral Marketing, and it was like the seven steps to effective marketing, so I thought that was very good. I learned a lot from that. Then was, the other one was the Small Giants panel, which was Tom Walter, who came to Quincy University guest speak, uh, his daughter, Erin Walter, and uh, Jamie Pressner. Same question for you, Mike. What, did, what sessions did you enjoy the most? Well, um, uh, one of them was uh, related to 
types of venture capital, like getting, getting investors to fund your business. And the guy talked about how to find these people. And they're really not that hard to find, actually. So uh, it's like a lot of websites and a lot of uh, just ways. It's just kind of like a social thing where you just, uh, almost like Facebook, but there's, it's a venture capital version of that. Meanwhile, as the group ate, Morgan and Dr. Palmer walked back to the conference center to see how the judges had decided. Unfortunately, Morgan did not advance to the semifinals. After dinner, we split up. For most of us, it was an early night in preparation for day three. All right, this is Matt. I'm here with uh, Zach. Zach. Yeah, and we're walking over to some uh, sessions. We just came from the opening keynote breakfast last night. Um, we did not check out the party, but as we, I know you uh, visited a friend. Yep, uh, visited a former Q alum, John Brizian. Mm -hmm. So we went out and he showed me around a little bit of downtown Chicago. After a very productive morning of sessions, we met up with our group at lunch, where Zach had an opportunity in the network with Jason Lukash. He was on uh, the ABC show uh, Shark Tank. He pitched his idea and he got a donation and uh, he's grown his business tremendously. So I was interested to see real life, like celebrity and he's sitting dinner and having lunch with us. So that's really cool. With day three complete, our group was ready to return to campus where we can apply what we've learned to our own chapter. On our way back to the car, we reflect on a few of our most valuable experiences. Um, I think uh, there's so many things that you think you have assumptions about it, and when they tell you the real you know, facts about it, it's so surprising that it's not the way you might think it is. <laughs> and really, I mean, the big point is that just do it, and you know, there's really no one way to look at it. So, the real mm -hmm. only way to find out is to do it. Uh, it was enjoyable. Like, you learn a lot, and it's worth, worth doing. Uh, minimal cost, especially since it was in Chicago, because it's um, since it's kind of in the center of the country, it's probably the most reasonable place to have something like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, since it's kind of a port for business, I think a lot of people were able to come just because they were in the area doing something anyway. So it was really nice that um, a lot of people took out their time to teach us something, and hopefully everyone took away something from that. 